21st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Exodus chapters 5 and 6 from the Old Testament. Afterward, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Release my people so that they may hold a pilgrim feast to me in the desert. But Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey him by releasing Israel? I do not know the Lord, and I will not release Israel. And they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us go a three-day journey into the desert, so that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God, so that he does not strike us with plague or the sword. The king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you cause the people to refrain from their work? Return to your labor. Pharaoh was thinking, The people of the land are now many, and you are giving them rest from their labor. That same day Pharaoh commanded the slave masters and foremen who were over the people, You must no longer give straw to the people for making bricks as before. Let them go and collect straw for themselves. But you must require of them the same quota of bricks that they were making before. Do not reduce it, for they are slackers. That is why they are crying, Let us go sacrifice to our God. Make the work harder for the men, so they will keep at it and pay no attention to lying words. So the slave masters of the people and their foremen went to the Israelites and said, Thus says Pharaoh, I am not giving you straw. You go get straw for yourselves, wherever you can find it because there will be no reduction at all in your workload. So the people spread out through all the land of Egypt to collect stubble for straw. The slave masters were pressuring them, saying, Complete your work for each day, just like when there was straw. The Israelite foremen, whom Pharaoh's slave masters had set over them, were beaten and were asked, Why did you not complete your requirement for brick-making as in the past? both yesterday and today. The Israelite foreman went and cried out to Pharaoh, Why are you treating your servants this way? No straw is given to your servants, but we are told, Make bricks. Your servants are even being beaten, but the fault is with your people. But Pharaoh replied, You are slackers, slackers. That is why you are saying, Let us go sacrifice to the Lord. So now get back to work. You will not be given straw, but you must still produce your quota of bricks. The Israelite foremen saw that they were in trouble when they were told, You must not reduce the daily quota of your bricks. When they went out from Pharaoh, they encountered Moses and Aaron standing there to meet them, and they said to them, May the Lord look on you and judge, because you have made us stink in the opinion of Pharaoh and his servants, so that you have given them an excuse to kill us. Moses returned to the Lord and said, Lord, why have you caused trouble for this people? Why did you ever send me? From the time I went to speak to Pharaoh in your name, he has caused trouble for this people, and you have certainly not rescued them. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh, for compelled by my strong hand he will release them, and by my strong hand he will drive them out of his land. God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord, I was not known to them. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, where they were living as resident foreigners. I have also heard the groaning of the Israelites, whom the Egyptians are enslaving, and I have remembered my covenant. Therefore tell the Israelites, I am the Lord. I will bring you out from your enslavement to the Egyptians. I will rescue you from the hard labor they impose. And I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments. I will take you to myself for a people, and I will be your God. Then you will know that I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out from your enslavement to the Egyptians. I will bring you to the land I swore to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and I will give it to you as a possession. I am the Lord. Moses told this to the Israelites, but they did not listen to him because of their discouragement and hard labor. 
Then the Lord said to Moses, Go, tell Pharaoh king of Egypt that he must release the Israelites from his land. But Moses replied to the Lord, If the Israelites did not listen to me, then how will Pharaoh listen to me since I speak with difficulty? The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them a charge for the Israelites and Pharaoh king of Egypt to bring the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. These are the heads of their father's households. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were Hanok and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. These were the clans of Reuben. The sons of Simeon were Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shal, the son of a Canaanite woman. These were the clans of Simeon. Now these were the names of the sons of Levi, according to their records, Gershon, Kohath, and Mirai. The length of Levi's life was 137 years. The sons of Gershon by their families were Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The length of Kohath's life was 133 years. The sons of Mirai were Malai and Mushai. These were the clans of Levi according to the records. Amram married his father's sister, Jochebed, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. The length of Amram's life was 137 years. The sons of Izhar were Korah, Napheg, and Zikri. The sons of Aziel were Mishael, Elzaphan, and Zithri. Aaron married Elisheba, the daughter of Minadab and sister of Nashon. And she bore him Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. The sons of Korah were Aser, Elkanah, and Abisaph. These were the Korahite clans. Now Eleazar, son of Aaron, married one of the daughters of Putiel, and she bore him Phineas. These are the heads of the father's households of Levi, according to their clans. It was the same Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Bring the Israelites out of the land of Egypt by their regiments. They were the men who were speaking to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, in order to bring the Israelites out of Egypt. It was the same Moses and Aaron. When the Lord spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt, he said to him, I am the Lord. Tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I am telling you. But Moses said before the Lord, since I speak with difficulty, why should Pharaoh listen to me? God, I think that we can all relate to when Moses comes to you, not once, but multiple times and says, I don't know how to speak. I'm unfit to speak. I can't do this. When we realize the awe-inspiring, overwhelming, amazing task that you've assigned to us, the commission that you've given us to do in this world, to talk to others about, about you. <sighs> Sometimes our first reaction is, I don't have the right words. I'm not as eloquent as so-and-so. Uh, what will people think of me? Um, will this ostracize me even more so than I already am? What will this do to my relationships? There's, there's a whole list of things that start to come up in our head as to why we can't do this. And just like you told Moses, you would be with him. Don't worry. Not only will I be with you, but I'm going to add in Aaron to help you with this. Um, so God, today I pray for everyone listening that as those concerns come up, as those fears come up, as choices are given in our life to speak on your behalf, to speak to other people about your amazing love, forgiveness, and a relationship with your son. The first and foremost, when those fears come up, that we remember that you are with us, that you will give us the words that we need to speak, 
that we don't have to know everything there is in the Bible. In fact, I'm learning the more I read, the less I know that we don't have to know everything. We just have to love you and be willing to share that with other people. You'll fill in the rest. And then part two of that, remember too, that each of us have special gifts that you've given us. For some, you've given us the eloquence of speech. For, for some of the rest of us, you've given other talents. And so please help us remember as we start to do the fear, I can't do this, I can't help with this ministry, I don't know what this looks like, I don't know how to say this, I can't answer all those questions, that you will be with us and two, you'll send in people to help us as well. We have to remember God. We have to remember that you are in control. <laughs> of course you are going to help us with this. Of course you're going to put people in our life to help with this. The fear only comes from our humanness and from a lack of faith in you and the lack of trust in you. So today, help us to remember our faith in you, that you will always have our back, whether in word or thought or deed, as long as we trust in you and your almighty power. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <music>